All right, so now um, I'm going to go through how to convert from polar to Cartesian coordinates and vice versa. And it's actually not that hard. Um, there are four formulas that you're going to be using, which um, I'm going to go through why they are in a little bit. We have x equals r cosine theta, y equals r sine theta, tangent theta equals y over x, or another way of saying that is just inverse tangent of y over x equals theta. Um, and then you have r squared equals x squared plus y squared. And all these can be derived using basic trig, uh, Pythagorean theorem for this one. Um, so let's move down a little bit. For all you physics people, um, it's just the components of a, um, a vector. So if you have your, uh, your polar coordinate there, there's your uh, uh, radius and your angle theta right here. If you drop an imaginary line from here down to the x-axis, and we're going to call that y, and then you have your, your, x, um, your value of x there. If you just do, uh, like based on the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, Right down there, we're just gonna we're just gonna call R C. We're gonna call X A, and we're gonna call Y B. So based on that, we get X squared plus Y squared equals R squared. Um, and to find all of the other formulas, it's just basic trig, uh, Sokotoa stuff using components. Um, you can all see it right there, and, and pause the video if you want to check that out. So yeah, pretty simple, just converting stuff like that.